On the 31st of December 2012, during a crossover all-night prayer, the anointed man of God, Dr. Prophet Blessing Chiza, gave a prophecy concerning the church worldwide. One of the prophecies he gave was concerning the cleansing of God's church through exposing of sinful ministers. Let us watch this prophecy. It's a year. God will judge evil and expose more, especially evil people in the ministry, evil pastors who are doing evil, God is going to expose them. God is going to expose all bad apples on the pulpit. All bad apples on the pulpit, God is red cutting them like a referee does. Not only exposing them, some ministries and ministers will collapse because God is now refining the pulpit. I see some people in the ministry, even pastor, I see apostasy and adultery on the church altars increasing in 2013. But God will quickly judge and expose those people. And some shall be caught red-handed. Some are going to... It, it was tolerated in 2013 for pastors to sleep around, some with their congregants. But God was saying in 2013, I am exposing such things. And some, I will make even their wives to catch them red-handed. And some of those things you read them in the newspaper this year. Over the next few years, several pastors were caught red-handed in adultery and some collapsed on the pulpit as God was now at work bringing holiness to his house. The following are some of the video clips that were captured by different media houses all over the world. A Connecticut pastor seeking to cleanse his soul for a long past infidelity met fire and brimstone, then forgiveness from his flock before reportedly keeling over from a suspected heart attack. Bishop Bobby Davis, pastor and founder of the Miracle Faith World Outreach Church in Bridgeport, reportedly dropped to the floor during the screaming. Let's now go to that story of a man of God who was allegedly caught in the act, pants down. The pastor from, uh, is said to have been found in bed with a woman believed to, he, to be his church member. The man claiming to be the woman's husband rained blows on her as shocked residents watched. Ian Wafula reports on the incident that has rattled the Anglican diocese here in Nairobi. Not only were emotions running high, but also the blows and kicks at every turn. Husband, let's call him Mr. X, allegedly found his wife Mrs. Y sleeping with his good time friend and a church pastor. A development he says confirms his long held suspicion that she was playing games with him. But while Mrs. Y was on the receiving end, the church pastor on the other hand was wondering whether to hide his face or the rest of his body. Even more awkward, the two were forced to pose for a photoshoot session, after which it was time to dress up. <laughs> pastor from SCK Pumwani, however, kept his protests, claiming the woman lured him to this lodging under the pretext that she needed urgent prayers since she was not feeling well. And then they all left. Surprisingly, husband and his pastor friend walked out gracefully to their vehicles and drove out. What happened at King Castle Inn was meant to stay at King Castle Inn. Well, not anymore. The Anglican Church says it has begun investigations into the incident and that stern disciplinary actions will be taken against the pastor if the claims are proved to be true.
in the south when a woman stormed into a church which she alleged is run by her husband. Jane Wamboy entered God's Gift Favor Church at around midday today, calling out her husband's name and in turn scaring away the faithful and interrupting the day's service. The disruption caused chaos as some of the church members ran out screaming and praying aloud while the rest closed the door of the church. Police intervened and arrested the woman and the pastor. Drama unfolded early this morning when a middle-aged woman stormed a church and demanded audience with the pastor of the church who, according to the woman, left her for another woman. She alleged that the pastor is her legal husband and has abandoned his parental role. The aggrieved woman, who was identified as Jane Wamboy, started shouting and throwing stones at the church, attracting a large crowd of onlookers and effectively bringing the church service to a halt. This crying showing clearly the damage that had been caused, asking for the man in clothes to be let out. According to her, their marriage of 14 years started experiencing problems when the pastor started an affair with another woman. Mutoto wangu hajai kosa chakura, amekosa sa hile baba yake msasi amekuja. Na ya alijitore ya tu atakuwa nalipa hii shure. Na mimi ni kona kibaru wa gumu sana sababu kasi yangu ni hawking, ili bebo wanakajo sina kasi saa hisi. Nimefukusu wa nyumba, mutoto wana shukura, chakura mutoto wa mefukusu wa hata shure. <tos> with some unsuccessfully trying to calm the woman down. It took the intervention of police to have the pastor at the center of the love triangle to come out of his hiding. The two were taken to Boroboro police station for questioning. Lofty Matambo, KTN. God is going to expose all bad apples on the pulpit. All bad apples on the pulpit, God is red cutting them like a referee does. Not only exposing them, some ministries and ministers will collapse. Because God is now refining the pulpit. I see some people in the ministry, even pastor, I see apostasy and adultery on the church altars increasing in 2018 but God will quickly judge and expose those people and some shall be caught red-handed some are going to it was